Hi all, Nick Silverstein here, back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install macOS 10 Tiger inside a VM inside of an M1 Mac or inside of an Intel Mac. It's not difficult and let's get started. Here are my specs, but 16 gigs of RAM is not required. If you have a DMG of macOS 10 Tiger, you must convert it to an ISO first. Here's how you do that. First click convert, then choose your DMG, and then choose the appropriate format, which in this case is CD DVD master. Then click convert. Then rename the CDR extension to ISO. Click use ISO on the warning. In this tutorial, I will be using UTM. There are many other ways to do this, but UTM is the easiest. I will make a tutorial later on how to do this in QMU. Let's get started. Click on create new virtual machine. Name it whatever you want. I'm naming mine Mac OS 10.4. Choose your icon. This step is optional. Under the system tab, choose power PC. And Mac 99. Click show advanced settings and choose one CPU core as the cores. Change nothing under QEMU. Under drives, click on new drive, click on removable, and click create. Now we need to make a hard disk. Click on new drive, type in the hard drive size. This will not take up that amount of hard drive space until you use it. Then click on create. Leave the display and input settings as I set them here. Change the network settings accordingly. Set the sound settings to screamer if you want audio. In macOS 10 Tiger, the audio is a bit choppy, so you might want to turn this off. Choose your ISO file that you created earlier. I've sped this up dramatically, expect this to take a long time. Install macOS as you normally would on a PowerPC Mac. The VM will restart back into the installer. Press Control Alt on your keyboard to release the mouse and close the VM. Change the boot order by changing the order in the drive section. Then clear the ISO out of the drive and boot up as normal. Be prepared for it to take a while. I've sped up the process dramatically. Set up your Mac as you normally would, as if it was a real PowerPC Mac. Hey look, you could even change the screen resolution. That's all for this one. Check out my other videos. Subscribe for more content like this.